Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I'm your host for this 1221 portal reading. Year 2023, by the way, as we are approaching 2024. So let's see what the universe has in store. You can watch this according to your sun sign. It's up to you. There's four elements and I am going to also invite you to like this video to support the channel to grow. Thank you. Whoa, earth element. I, 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 ah, what happened? Okay, so that's how we're going to play in this portal. Okay, let's see what we have for you, earth element. It's just very fast and yeah, because we have to clean up, chop wood. Is someone on the chopping block in your life or are you cutting off? relationships, chaos and conflict. Definitely, if you have earth or chosen earth element or you are an earth sign, there is something that needs to be gone. Be bye-bye. Be gone. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's pull those two next cards that I had expected, but I think there's a lot of unexpected things coming up for the earth signs. The fates. Oh, yes, because something else greater wants to come in. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull those other cards because this is going to talk about more the self-love, self-attraction. Okay. You're definitely earth signs. There's something you got to free yourself from. Or if you pick the earth, okay, you don't have to have that as a sun sign. You could have chosen... Just intuitively, there's something that needs to be freed. I wouldn't be surprised, as I'm saying this, that it could be in the root chakra, okay? Wedding. <laughs> past relationship. Or past life, I'm sorry. Past life relationship. And forgiving and learning. Wow. Okay. Earth signs. Something from your past. So some, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but I have to mention it because it's there. Uh, some of you might be a divorce. It might be a separation. It might be someone that you were supposed to get married with. Some energy that is similar might be coming back. Okay? That could be the person, someone you were with in the past, or that could be the energy of... Right now, as you're approaching this portal, entering this new phase of your life, you have to probably also remove whatever patterns, maybe some of you expectations in the negative sense, the negative conditionings of whatever a past situation that brought a lot of conflict in your life. You need to remove that so you can get to what is truly yours there's an awakening there's probably for some of you here also we're entering capricorn season uh so the earth element is, is strong and that means that could vibrate also to a collective message here um where we're awakening the stars within we're awakening the goddess god self within but it does show here that it is coming from you learning from past experiences. Let's read this card. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Hmm. I feel that some of you, it's maybe um, something that you might want to have as an awareness. Maybe you're not in that situation anymore. And yet, you can find the freedom or the satisfaction, the fulfillment of your life. Maybe you, you feel destined for something greater. And whatever you rehearsed in the past that attracted a certain relationship, a certain dynamic, a certain maybe codependency, addiction even there's something that needs to be released i have strongly felt that my quantum fascia healing playlist was coming 
strongly with this portal. This is all about releasing the emotional structured water, so all the water. So as you experience things in life, your internal water is structured, it imprints, it learns vibrationally a certain reaction. It could be a trauma, it could be a fear, okay? And when it starts to learn this, what happens is that when a similar person, situation, event that vibrates to whatever you haven't fully processed, you might not realize it, but subconsciously your body is sending those same messages and that makes you think and feel very similarly to how you thought and felt from that past event. This is complex. We're complex beings. Okay, I did not expect Callie to come in, but I am feeling I need. <laughs> I need Callie the Destroyer here to support this energy. Okay. This is interesting. Let's see. If I'm not mistaken, Callie is in Libra right now. You're going to wait with me, um, Earth Pile. <laughs> um, there's definitely a lot of activation, and I feel for you, Callie is strong. So some of you, you might know it's asteroid 4227. If that's something you're looking, if you are into astrology. Okay. Yes, she's in the last degrees of Cali, uh, of, of Libra, I'm sorry. And that speaks of, that's so interesting because if you count the angles of the zodiac, so how many degrees to get to that point here, this is the angle 42. I could feel it. This is the same angle. That speaks of divine order and reorganization. So there's, we're cleaning up. We're cleaning up house here. Earth signs, earth element. Or if you happen to choose this intuitively, there was some message here. Definitely Cali felt strong. I was like, <laughs> okay, this, this is definitely part of it. It's been coming up a lot in my personal readings for Callie and all the goddesses. And it's funny, I can never remember the message, but I can remember the energy. It's very powerful, potent. It says here with Chamunda, knowing what to allow and what to fight for or against requires wisdom. Chamunda is the fearlessness, wisdom, patience, and discipline required to conquer a difficult situation. Jamunda is the power to accomplish what you need and desire. She is with you now. Her presence now pretends a truly exceptional breakthrough on your path. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough from this type of pattern. There, so that means that you have to harness the fact that whatever this situation and repetition, this karmic cycle, some of you maybe decades of repetition, has a gift. Oh God, I got, oh God. <laughs> wow, I had such a jolt and, and chill down my right leg. Okay, so there's something to remember at a soul level you know. And this is going to be my second card. What do you know? Okay, here, it's Kala Ratri. A process of profound and enduring transformation is leading you towards a powerful rebirth. Free from even the most persistent patterns or pains of your past. Your soul is in deep healing. Recovery can be painful, but you will emerge renewed and released. You are blessed to experience a new life within this lifetime. So I told you, so some of you have felt this. this is old. This is ancient. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you, you are those spiritual warriors, karmic warriors that are coming to break free those chains of karma in your family, in your ancestry. Can we get more details about this? Can we get more details to help the earth signs, the earth pile? 
Can we get more details, please? Higher power in the reverse. We have a key. This is something that is connected to your third eye. This is something that you're not seeing because it veiled you. The number four right now is connected to the placement of Chiron. The placement where Chiron is right now is in Aries. And it speaks of the wound of powerlessness because it's supposed to give you the power, the divine power to initiate, to go towards your goals. So what I would suggest here is to go into my karmic astrology, the wounded healer playlist and check out. You can listen to Aries Libra because that's the collective. But if you know your Chiron placement, go and use that frequency because this is something that you need to see and it's hard to see it because it's an ancient wound. The Chiron placement is, is old at a soul level and especially if you have Chiron retrograde, this can last much longer and impact your life much longer and gets resolution more towards past, you know, the 40s, okay? I used gratitude mantras for this because gratitude is very much needed when we need to move on to from a cycle to another that is greater because if we can appreciate the lessons, the wisdom, the power that a past has taught us, a situation, people, then how can we attract something greater if we don't have that ability? Because you're going to attract greater things that because you're seeing them for the power and the beauty of this path. So there's definitely here, as it came reverse, we shifted this. There's a vibration, and I feel this is gratitude, gratitude for what it has taught you. You have to go through this deep inner knowing and probably shadow work. Some of you, you know, this is, this, I have a lot of frequencies. Go and check out my frequency playlist. I have the links in the description box to support you because you're going to get that rebirth and you're going to enter that new cycle. Okay, even if it was long waited for, this was meant for you to receive. A life where you feel valued and respected, where you feel that the universe is hearing you. A proper exchange of gifts because you are a gift. Remember I said there is an awakening of your potential but it needs to go through this, this removal of that painful, painful, chaotic situation. Something great is going to emerge. Something that you can't even imagine. It's so beautiful. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so very much for liking and supporting this channel and returning and uh, finding me. I'm sending you many blessings. Namaste. Welcome to my air signs or the air pile according to what you decided to pick your sun sign or just intuitively. Let's see what we have here. I feel this one wants to come too. Okay, no place like home for this portal. This is important for you to find the beauty within yourself. That you're you're the home, you're the temple. You're sacred. There's some messages here for you, air signs or air pile, about how you communicate, especially the self-talk that nurtures your light. And the more you're going to practice this, practice seeing your light, practice affirm maybe some of you it's affirmations. The more you're going to do this, the more there's going to be light that's going to shine outwards from within. So without, okay, let's see what else we have. The chaos and conflict came in the reverse here. The fates and the chopped wood. Very interesting. A lot of those cards were also in the earth energy. This is interesting. I had a sign here. 
this is there's something it's interesting air signs um already capricorn season i have this energy and message about love i started with the home and it's in, in put the emphasis on self-love finding that love that you are and i feel there's just so much more love things that maybe you want it's almost as if if you let yourself dream this dream of the things that you want to manifest no matter what was the past maybe some of you there's a resistance or a block because of past trauma or negative conditioning from the childhood from the family but there's just a message here of such great encouragement to nurture the light that almost was born out of chaos. Some of you are definitely put in this family to break those chains. You definitely were there to break those chains. And um, why I'm saying this is I have also this number 33, the 33 vertebrae, the Christ consciousness. You came here with a higher consciousness. Oh God, my God. I have chills down all my both legs, but especially around my ankles. Oh, wow. This is Aquarius. <laughs> okay, some of you, you are Aquarius, so you have a certain placement in Aquarius. Okay? But this is about, and doesn't have to be, but this is about a light. This is, you came with this gift. You came with this gift, and I feel that what you need to hear for this portal is that the more you practice affirmations, that show that you believe in that light. Let me bring it closer. For some reason, I was so far. I was so far. It's almost like being farsighted, like you don't see it. it. Come closer to yourself. Come closer to your own story. Come closer. Maybe look at yourself in the mirror. That's sometimes an exercise that I give to my clients. You know, what's your reaction when you come closer to the mirror? Can you hold your sight? Or do you have to distract yourself? Or are you focused on the negative points? Are you looking at if you have pimples, if your hair doesn't look good, if your teeth are this way, your nose? Okay, this will show you something. The way you react to your own reflection because there's something, once you shift into a higher lens that nurtures the light, my dear air signs or air pile, there's something you're awakening. There's some codes. There's a template. There's a revelation about your true beauty that is going to come forward. But there's definitely some things that you needed to clear. Okay, let's get some clarity about this with the Romance Angel. Oh. Okay, all right, as far as the past. There's a past life relationship. There's a past event. There may be something from the past that occurred oh, for yourself in the reverse that trapped you. There's a false belief, a fear. False belief appearing rear. Mm -hmm. Let's get some details about this. Created a lot of chaos. Maybe also uh, relationship dynamics. A lot of chaos under the home. <sighs> Oof, it made me feel... Um, I needed to sigh. I needed to breathe more. It was choking your energy. Definitely here. Forgiving and learning in the reverse. There's something you're not seeing here that was needed for your own growth. That can be hard sometimes, you guys. No judgment here. Okay, I, 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 there's a shadow here that I want to see. Yeah, deception. Um, in the reverse. You know what? <laughs> it's going to be silly, but and yet it's so powerful. It's as if when you're walking the path, wearing a mask of deception, because all this time, maybe some of you, it's almost as if... 
that story of the eagle that was raised among chicken. Maybe you were raised among people that just, you had to help break free from this pattern, this chaos, you know, whatever, those chains. You had to bring love, higher divine love, higher Christ consciousness, okay? But it's as if you thought you were like everyone else, like a chicken. You didn't see those wings. You didn't see that power that you had because of the way maybe you were raised, just the way you were, you know, maybe shunned apart, singled out, called out, different, be different, too different, whatever was the label. But it's as if like the lesson that I'm re receiving for you, it's as if, can you imagine the first time this eagle is going to fly when it's been living like a chicken? Can you imagine the power and the feeling that this can channel? This was meant for you to activate something even greater than just the, as if you were just living by design. The contrast of being off alignment, off maybe the true perception of what you were really. That doesn't mean you didn't see it or you didn't believe it, but there was just so many outside factors that could have blurred this that it made you not realize for a long time what you were really made of, you know. Let's get some Cali message. So this is interesting. That's something that I felt called to do um, is look at the placement of Cali as I'm channeling for this portal. And she's such a great place, placement right now because she is in the last degrees of Libra that speaks of divine order, reorganization, you know, your ambition, whatever you need and want to accomplish, it's like, it's, it's, it's going to be sorted out. There's, there's a lot of, you know, especially Libra as those scales. There's a lot of rebalancing of power. Oh, let's see what Callie wants to share with you. Let's see. Bhuvaneshvari. She is the rising sun, marking the ending of darkness and the replenishment of life force after illness or devastation. She creates a clean slate and a fresh start. She protects and preserves that which is worthy of the heart. She shines in a perpetual state of divine beauty and radiance attracting to us the most supportive and honoring circumstances. My dear one here, air signs or air pile, definitely you've managed to keep such a great compassionate and kind heart overall through this whole contrasted experience and the universe as you were opening those portals and you receiving this is saying you're going to finally be able to see it and fully embody it let's get some more messages as far as this embodiment how can you support this how can you support the beauty because your true beauty is coming really from being able to appreciate what was taught. I feel it's here. Loyal heart came in the reversed. I feel this is important for you to realize the times where you are not in alignment with your truth and where you're not seeing the true beauty that you are, how it impacts your manifestation your reality. Maybe all of a sudden you're attracting the same pattern with the same conflict. And if you're asking yourself, why is this happening again? Then go back into the mirror and go and ask yourself, what is it that I want to attract? What is it that I want to see in my reality? Do I want to see the kindness that I feel in my heart? Then how can I embody more of that to myself because all that we want from the outside first starts within 
this is a very important message for you, my air signs. This is what I have. I trust the supported you for this amazing portal. If you need personal guidance, I have some promotions that are ending that are still available. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Namaste. Fire signs or pile number three, according to your liking and your intuition. Okay, let's see what we have as a message and guidance for this 1221 portal. Let's see. The other piles were literally jumping. <laughs> so it seems that you're taking your time. I like this. There's a quietness, there's a peace that I like for you, fire signs. Okay, yes. Building blocks. Mm hmm. Chop wood. Someone has been doing their cleanup. <laughs> Good. Chaos and conflict. And last one. Let's... No place like home. Wow. Okay. So this is very interesting because it really feels that for fire signs or the fire pile, if you decided to opt for your intuition and the element, that there's some inner strength that has come from a period of time where you really addressed cleaning out some of your wounds, some of your relationships, some of the things that brought you more chaos than anything else you know maybe some relationships that just brought a lot of drama maybe some uh past feuds whether they were at work or family or just your environment you just decided to do what was best for you i wouldn't be surprised if some of you even um taking leadership into maybe starting your own business shifting businesses or getting a side job so you can you know get out of a certain situation, getting uh, maybe some schooling, extra degrees, but there's definitely um, a sense of not wanting to deal anymore with past dynamics where your peace is not respected. Your investment in time and space seems to be very much about yourself, but in the greatest ways, okay? So let's see in terms of this deck here, that's messages of self-love. How can we maintain this frequency? Um, how can we just benefit in the greatest way for this frequency and for this portal? What needs to be heard and conveyed at this time? Trust. Okay, that I, I like this because some of you, if you are embarking on a new journey, okay, as far as maybe an endeavor, a project, whether it's business, whether it's maybe changing home, okay, I'm hearing, or maybe your dream to move somewhere, okay, trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith, I'm being called to look at this child and this angel and the arrow, I am not quite sure why or what this gentleman is holding a baton i'm not sure is that is he a, a maestro is he a, is leading an orchestra there's some type of leadership okay there's some type of leadership role that is awaiting for you past this portal and this portal and you know you harnessing the power of whatever you've already accomplished because it feels like you've done it and if some of you you are in the process, just have strong faith and trust in this process because so far this feels just really, that peace feels powerful. I actually don't think I've ever felt that like that. It just feels as if the peace almost spreads out into an aura, onto a field. This is very big. Yes. Okay. So finances and career. Some of you, if you are scared or you were scared and, or you're still taking on the leap of faith, 
as far as a change in your career, you definitely are going to be protected. This is under the chop wood. There were some things, maybe if, even if it's the same job, but to get a promotion, they needed some things to be done as far as your own vibrational knowing of your worth, of what you are capable of achieving, fire signs and fire pile. Worth waiting for. Now, it came in reverse. Because I feel as some of you... It, those opportunities... It's the most of the divine wants to, to, to tell you those opportunities that are available and opening for you. They're, they're available right now. They're available to you right now. You've waited, you've waited and you've done the work. You've waited and done the work already. There might be some shyness, there might be some lack of confidence and we're going to get some message about that. Reconciliation. Okay, maybe a past relationship created the lack of confidence to jump into something new or it was simply divine timing but it is speaking of now i just feel it very strongly with this being reversed so let's see what Callie wants to um share because uh this card has been coming up a lot have been coming up again even though i shuffle and shuffle those same cards are coming up but this is the placement of Kali when you count the angles of the Zodiac, 42. Okay, Kali is there and she is the destroyer. So it feels because it came all upright with such a great empowerment that you've done this. But if there is any type of still, you know, fear or lack of trust or wonder if it's the right time, let's see what Kali wants to share with you. This is an angle that speaks of divine reorganization this is about how you know your ambition can be manifested but if they want to be manifested what do you need to release there might be something else it's, it seems that you started this like this last new moon as i'm channeling this let me see what was that date okay like right now i'm lost in time and space <laughs> as i'm channeling one second you guys all right, that was just a week ago. The new moon, the Sagittarius moon, the 12th, December 12th. Oh, wow, the beginning of the portal. Wow, wow, this has been so powerful for you, fire signs. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I can't remember that reading for you, but it seems that you have taken, you know, this very seriously. It says here with Kalaratri, a process of profound and enduring transformation is leading you towards a powerful rebirth, free from even the most persistent patterns or pains of your past. Your soul is in deep healing. Recovery can be painful, but you will emerge renewed and released. You are blessed to experience a new life within this lifetime. There's definitely some very potent chemistry here awaiting that is it's it's it almost feels maybe another round of kundalini awakening some of you maybe there's going to be some chakra activation you're going to feel it in in your body physically almost something that is going to yep something that's going to help you move you're going to let the goddess in you're going to let spirit move you. This is what you needed to know. Ah, oh, finally have it for you. You you needed spirit to let spirit in. And what I mean by this is like the higher version of yourself guide you and trust and surrender. So you've been doing this and now it's coming to almost like a climax where you're starting to understand more and more this embodiment. Some of you, if you're still struggling, I do offer until the end of this year, um, actually Christmas Day, 
the Wild Feminine promotion reading, okay, with Kali is involved, you have Ishtar, you have Lilith, you have Medusa, you can pick your goddess, okay, but I feel that you definitely have some strong activation, oh, blessed, 22, remember this number, I want you to remember this number when you see 2-2 two, two or 2 two twos. This is in correlation for you as a synchronicity. This is happening for you. This is happening for you. Not to you. You've known this now. And you're shifting. That's what I have for you, Fire Signs. Thank you so very much. Please, if you need support, you have some of my services that are described in this video box. You also have access to my playlist and little cute things you can just access there. And that could be interesting. Um, to you at this time. I'm sending you many blessings and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Namaste. Water signs. Okay, I was going to shuffle more, but this one kind of uh, jumped. So we're going to <laughs> acknowledge the jumps for you water signs or water pile according to your intuition, what you decided to opt for a message. This card has been coming up for all the signs, all the piles, all the elements. This is so powerful. The number 42, if you count in the angles of the zodiac, this is exactly where Kali is placed, the last degrees of Libra. So we are going to pull some Kali messages. There's definitely some big cleanup that has been happening between the 1212 and 1221 portal. So we're entering into a new phase. Yes. And this is what it leads us towards too. Okay. So again, when I was actually um, shuffling, I was singing for you the song Good Energy. Good energy. I don't need no negativity around me. Mm -hmm. Frequency. Observer. Okay. And not for you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You're finally water signs you're finally get to getting into a space where you're starting to harness more of your own frequency okay because of the water component okay whether you are a water sun sign maybe you opted for another you know maybe your moon sign or maybe your north node your south i don't know your rising sign um or you just picked it by chance Okay, you are in a place where you're starting to see because you are starting to nurture more of your own frequency, more of the natural, you know, happiness, happy self that you are. And then there's, you are more able to see the contrast and that it's not you. It's not you. It's not for you. The universe works for you, not against you. So you're able to understand more those tests. And I feel as some of you, yes, it had to be almost like a training. If you have this water component in your chart, this is part of what you signed up as a spiritual mastery. Understanding what's the difference, you know, having keen inner sight, inner intuition, from feeling the vibration of what surrounds you and be able to discern, discern the polarity, discern also the path. I feel that even to you, it's, it's like such a depth because you come from a place of observing more and more, okay? Before you were just probably swallowed in this um, energy. But there's so much growth from you becoming the observer. And now you're even able to, to project yourself like, if I choose this or that, this can take me this far in the greatest way or this far off in other type of greatest <laughs> ways. Okay, It's kind of teaching you the art of discernment and more making decision towards what you really hope for, not what you fear, not making decision based of, hey, I don't want to manifest this, so let me choose that. 
Okay, that's not a way you want to approach life. And you're starting to really harness this understanding. Now I feel I can put it upright because we needed to talk about it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have now as far as messages for self-love. I love this for you, water signs. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So much love that wants to come forward. So much love. But you got to trust. And those cards are coming in reverse. You got to trust what maybe changes you're being led to take and change that your finances are going to follow, okay? As far as maybe there was some past self-worth um, doubts in the past that made you not take the lead. I was, I think fire signs had this as well. And I was wondering what the heck is this gentleman holding? And it felt like a baton to almost lead a concert and it's it made me realize leadership taking a leadership role maybe it was hard for you to take leadership or even accountability responsibility leadership of your own life and it affected your finances because it affected how you felt but remember i intuitively just started to put them upright because as we're talking this through it feels like you're so intuitive you're so connected that just Hearing this and talking things out is enough. This is a relationship. You have to talk your fears through. Almost as if you're a child and having this conversation with your inner child as a parent. What are you scared of? People won't like me anymore. Well, were they liking you more when you were doing those things? It may be in appearances. Okay, I just feel like... If you start having more conversation with your inner self, when you are in the phases where those choices have to be made and you're fearful, look at the deeper meaning of what your inner child is trying to show you and how you would parent yourself out of that situation and make a decision that is most in alignment with something that is building your inner strength. Oof, I get chills on my thigh definitely connected to your jupiter okay some of you may have sagittarius in your chart but this is something that is more of a mental mindset that you need to develop that exercise that's more of an emotional exercise and yet it's helping you intellectualize and find true strength from a very good balance between feminine and masculine your heart and your mind Okay, love this for you, my dear water signs or water pile. Okay, there was some type of separation that needed to occur. So some of you may be cutting off certain relationship. When I said cut off, I also felt that <laughs> maybe um, it's silly. I had to cut off coffee, okay, and I had a relapse. <laughs> After freaking weeks, I ran out of my herbal coffee and I was like, ah, it's not going to hurt just one day. Oh my God. I, I had so many signs after and I was in if that it was just not, nah, nah, can't do it. And then even my, my man shared with me, um, this article that he had read as far as an experiment on mice that when they were in a certain brainwave of trauma and then they're put in another you know total different environment but they're in that same they repeat a certain vibration a certain repetition it's like it totally made the trauma as if it was there even though everything looked different and when i started thinking about this i was like oh my god i i is there some trauma that i have that is can correlate with caffeine and right away the first instinct came up with a few car accidents I was in okay and I started having like this such a laugh because I would say that if I had to tell my younger self an advice I know that I, the first thing to say slow the f down slow the f down now you have to know that part of also um, a trauma response can be feeling rushed okay so i had to really dive very deep 
and observe a lot of those things. So some of you, if you don't know, on my Telegram, I do share certain articles that are relevant to some of the things that I mention in those videos that I don't know where to post, but I can keep them because they're, you know, they're there to access. So you have my Telegram in the description if you scroll down, okay? If that's something that interests you, this type of separation cut off, maybe that was also cut off as far as maybe you had a friend that was always you know, maybe more, you're the one counseling them and they're not, they're not listening to you. They're not asking you how you are. Okay. There's a certain pattern here that needed to be cut off and you had to observe it. You had to observe where did this come from? I can see this. This is was this is was definitely affecting your light, your playfulness, but you're getting into a, such a great space, water sign. I love this. I can see how much you worked for this. I can see how much you worked for this and you're maybe still in the process, but realize that you're going to find, uh, some of you, it's like a youthfulness, a youthfulness, even from that exercise that I said with the inner child. I've been rehearsing a lot of inner child exercises currently. I am loving it. I have never felt so good with this type of, of exercise and relationship. Okay, it's just, it feels so good. To, to talk to your child, to your inner child, because there's just so much more playfulness. And when you're pouting towards, you know, making a decision, why don't you want to do this? And ask yourself, you will have the answers. And if you don't, then this is where I, I suggest for you to look at my um, frequency playlist. Some of you, your members, thank you so much for supporting me this way. I do have an inner child. Oh my God, there's a child again. This is the message. There's an inner child frequency, but uh, the quantum fascia healing playlist is very much called for this type of phase, especially the letting go of karmic and trauma bondage. Okay, so that's something that is coming up for a lot of people right now. Okay, let's see what we have. Shribala, commit entirely and without hesitation to your most passionate inspirations. I love it. They are genius and wisdom in what you yearn to do. You have a greater capacity to attain fruition than those around you and those around you may recognize. Believe in yourself, even if no one else does. It is not imagination that drives you towards your destiny, but the instinctive recognition of your true purpose. Wow, I could not finish this reading in such greater ways. I am just, I love this for you, Water Signs. I'm sending you many blessings. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It supports the channel to grow. And I will see you much later or sooner. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> According to you, uh, if you have a personal reading that you are waiting, I don't know why I said that, but maybe some of you, you have um, ordered a goddess within a reading, a Kali reading, and it's on its way. <laughs> don't worry. Um, all right, that's all, folks. <laughs> Bye.